<laughs> so we're just down here looking around for a place to go bear hunting again and we want to see if there's anything out in this field that's behind me. Last year I ended up shooting a bear over that way and same thing with the year before. So we're going to try and do that again this year. Besides, kids like it and zippity doo -dah. Let's see, the river is over here. So you know that they're probably going to come up from down there or up on this hill. And probably up on the hill where they could smell what's down here. And then they come down and zippity doo -dah. Welcome to Apache's Corner Outdoors. And today, we like to discuss a little bit about um, leaving our scent along the ground and also the wind direction, which way is it blowing. So let's take a look and see how we set up our places to hunt. Leaving a scent trail like your own will actually uh, motivate the deer to move in a different direction. That's number one. Number two is, I wonder if we'll get rained out. Make sure you have something that indicates that the wind is blowing, which way the wind is blowing. Because with the wind blowing a certain way, you don't want to do is have your scent blowing over in the area that you want to hunt. So up there would be a good place to hunt. Here we have the wind coming down and we have a hunter who's doing some tracking and looking for a place to take a stand and he walks on by. And as he's doing that, a deer is coming down and looking around. This, the arrows here are the indication of which way the deer is walking. And it's using its nose. And every time it hits the hunter's scent from walking by, it bounces back. And either goes back up or continues to go. That's why it's important to know about our scent and how it affects the game we're after. You can even use a GPS as long as you know which way the wind is blowing. Maybe even a compass. <laughs> 